Finding good deals for investors on Zillow used to be tedious and time consuming, but not anymore. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a free custom AI tool along with very specific keywords to identify the best properties for investors on Zillow faster and easier than ever before. All that and more coming up. Zillow is the most visited real estate website in the US with an average of 57 million visitors every single month. But most people don't understand how Zillow works. And in order to understand how Zillow works, you first need to understand how real estate agents work. When a seller hires a real estate agent to sell her property, the agent puts the property for sale on a private site called the Multiple Listing Service or MLS. Now the MLS is privy only to other real estate agents. The idea is the listing agent collaborates with other real estate agents who have buyers and they work together to match a buyer with the seller. Now, since these listed properties are private just to real estate agents on the MLS, in a way they monopolize the on-market buying and selling process. Well, along comes Zillow in 2006 and others since then who took the MLS listed properties that were once private only to real estate agents on the MLS and made the information public and free for everyone. Today, everyday regular folks can go on Zillow and see properties for sale, see descriptions and pictures, and even research other sold homes in the area, all for free without the need of a real estate agent. Now, Zillow hasn't eliminated the use of real estate agents, far from it, but what they did do was put the buyers in the driver's seat. Now what happens is a buyer searches Zillow for properties for sale, finds the homes they're most interested in, and then calls up their real estate agent to schedule showings, look at the homes, make offers, and facilitate the closing process. And just so you know, Zillow doesn't just have on-market properties. A private seller can post a property for sale for free on Zillow too, called for sale by owner or FISBO. But by and large, the majority of properties on Zillow are on-market homes listed for sale with real estate agents. So if Zillow is free, how do they make money? Well, one of Zillow's primary income sources is ad revenue from, guess who? Real estate agents. When everyday consumers are searching for properties for sale, they will see an ad that says contact agent. And it's a little misleading because it appears as if that agent is for the listing, when in reality, it's just an agent paying Zillow for the lead. Now, I hope that helps you understand how Zillow works. So let's now get into the good stuff. What most people don't understand about on-market and real estate agents, and therefore Zillow, is that it's not just for retail people to buy and sell their houses. It's common for motivated sellers and distressed property owners to sell their properties on market. And I hope you caught that. You can find motivated sellers and distressed properties for sale at a discount on market, listed for sale with real estate agents. In fact, I teach how to find and secure deals with agents extensively on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link to a video in the description that explains how to get three to five deals a month from agents. And even better, if you want to see me do it live, be sure to check out my Watch Me Wholesale series where I randomly choose a market, find a distressed property for sale, run the numbers, and then call and make an offer directly to the agent. I'll put the playlist link to that video series in the description below so you can check it out later. So going back to Zillow, the problem is finding the distressed properties is like finding a needle in a haystack because at any given time, only about five to maybe 10% of properties that are for sale are distressed properties with motivated sellers. So that means you have to sift through all the retail listings in search of a distressed property. What Zillow does have is a keyword search tool. And the way that works is you can search a keyword or a keyword phrase and it will filter through all of the listings that have that specific keyword in the description. For example, if I look in Tampa, Florida, and I use the keyword pool, it will give me a list of all the listings that have the word pool in the description. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's showing me all of the listings that have pools, it's showing me all of the listings that have the word pool in the description. So let me show you where this is at on Zillow because it's not very prominent, and then we'll talk about motivated seller and distressed property keywords. So if you go to Zillow and I search Tampa, Florida, it's going to show me all of the current homes for sale in Tampa. Right here is a filter button called more. Click on that. And then at the very bottom is a keyword search box. So if I search the keyword phrase remodeled, it will give me a list of the properties listed for sale that have the phrase remodeled in the description. Or let's use a motivated seller keyword phrase such as must sell, and it gives me a list of properties for sale that have must sell written in the description. 
This lets us know that it's probably a motivated seller. Or let's search one of my favorite keywords for a distressed property, and that's the keyword fixer. This is a common keyword used for distressed properties, and there's how many it found. Now, you might be thinking, Jerry, there are dozens of different keywords and combinations of keyword phrases that could be used to identify a motivated seller or a distressed property. And you're exactly right, there are. So let me show you the master list that I've compiled after looking at thousands of distressed properties. My list is like five pages and there are dozens of different keywords, but what I've done is I've grouped them together based on the seller or the agent's intentions. Let me explain what I mean by that. When an agent or a seller lists a property for sale, I found that they usually use language that is intended to attract an investor or to disclose that the property has issues or the seller is motivated. And I found that there are nine different angles or nine different groups of keywords to find distressed properties. Let's review each of those now, and then I'll show you a free AI tool I built that finds these properties instantly for you. The first angle is to use language to attract an investor. The idea is to use keywords that indicate the property would be good for investors. Words like handyman, fixer-upper, investor special. Now, the second angle is use language that indicates the seller is overly worried about liability or specifically discloses that there are issues right in the description. Keywords like seller to make no repairs or as is where is. Now the third angle is very common and in my opinion, even comical, and that's to use language that downplays that the house has issues by focusing on the possibilities or the opportunities. Keywords like TLC, diamond in the rough, hidden gem, the sky's the limit, and my favorite, finishing touches. The fourth angle is to use language that focuses on how bad the property is by disclosing major issues. Keywords like condemned, fire damage, water damage, or maybe foundation issues. The fifth angle is to use language about how the property will not pass retail financing due to the property being in such bad condition. Keywords like cash sale only or no FHA allowed. The sixth angle is to use language that focuses on how the seller is motivated and willing to negotiate. Keywords like must sell, bring all offers, or price to sell. The seventh angle is to use language that it's a distressed property in foreclosure or bank owned or probate or estate. Keywords like subject to approval, bank owned, or estate sale. The eighth angle is to use language that the seller is open to creative financing terms. Keywords like rent to own, owner financing, or owner will carry. And finally, the ninth angle is to use language to attract a buy and hold investor. Keywords like tenant occupied, cash flow, rent ready, or do not disturb tenants. Next, let me show you how to use my master list to manually set up automated searches in Zillow and then how to do it instantly using a custom AI tool that I built. So if I go back to Zillow and let's put in your metro market, let's use Macomb County, Michigan. If I go to the keyword search tool again, and here I can enter a keyword or keyword phrase from my master list that I created, but here's the problem. You can enter multiple words or keywords if you separate them with a comma. So I can put needs work, comma, fixer upper. However, Zillow will only combine the keywords. The comma means and, not or. In other words, if I put needs work, comma, fixer upper, it will only provide results that have both needs work and fixer upper rather than results that have needs work or fixer upper. What this means is you have to search each keyword or keyword phrase separately. And that's how we used to do it. In fact, I would save a search for every single keyword or keyword phrase, which was extremely tedious and time consuming, but not anymore. I built a custom chat GPT tool, which will take my entire master list of keywords, run the searches individually and provide a list of all of the results for you. All you do is tell it the market you want to search, which types of distressed keywords to search, and any other filters you might have, and my AI tool will do the rest. It's a complete game changer for finding deals on Zillow. So if you want my master keyword list and my custom AI tool for free, leave a comment and say, Jerry, you're a flipping genius, and I'll give you the download link for free. Now, let me give you a few tips. First, as soon as you find a distressed property for sale, call and make an offer immediately. Remember, time kills all deals, so the longer you wait, the more time you give another buyer to make a higher offer. Second, never forget with agents, it's all about the relationship, not the deal. Focus on building a long-term relationship where those agents bring you future deals ongoing. 
And third, avoid using a buyer's agent. Call each listing agent directly and offer each listing agent the buyer side commission to represent you. I call this the double dip technique and it gets agents extremely motivated to work with you. So next, I want you to watch a video where I show a different method to find on-market deals for free using a technique where instead of identifying key words that indicate it's a distressed property or a motivated seller, instead, this technique focuses on asking price that is below the average sold homes in the market. Now this tells you which homes are underpriced. So be sure to watch that video now and I'll see you on the next video.